Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for December 24. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. If you want to learn, then check out my free complete courses. I've already got a bunch of them that I plan on doing a bunch more in the coming months. I highly recommend you go through my C Sharp complete course. This one covers pretty much everything from the language, everything from beginner to intermediate to the advanced topics. Or for something recent, check out my DOTS course. This is a very advanced tool set, but if you are on the intermediate or advanced stage, this is something I highly recommend you learn about. Or in general, a great game for beginners is my Kitchen Chaos course. Make a really interesting game, and then a second free course all about taking that game and making it multiplayer. Also, if you want to stay up to date with what's going on in the industry, check out my Game Dev Report newsletter. This is a free newsletter where I cover the latest Game Dev news and any interesting articles that I come across. Things like a really awesome free VFX Unity ebook. I also wrote about how a janky game made $28 million. Or how much money do Steam developers actually keep. And I also write about some fun topics, like this trend where developers were posting it before and after, showing a really impressive result. So if you want to stay up to date, sign up for free with a link in the description. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with martial arts animations. It's a fun animation pack all about martial arts. If you have an idea for a fighting game, then this would be a great starting point. It actually has a ton of animations for a free pack. You've got the normal locomotion stuff, then you've got some dodges, some punches and kicks. You even have some grabs, some defense, and even some taunts. So maybe pick this up and go make a fighting game or something inspired by John Wick. Next, for a complex AI tool, here we have Go. This means Goal-Oriented Action Planner. This is a way of handling AI where basically you define the goals and the actions that the AI can take, and then the AI will automatically figure out which actions to take in order to achieve those goals. This is the same AI that was used in the fear game that everyone praised. Honestly, it's a type of AI that I've never really tried it myself. It sounds like an interesting way of working. This one is the third version of this asset, so it's already very well built and very robust. It is completely free and open source. There is an optional paid version if you want to support the developer. Then, if you're working on a game with some shooting, here are some low-poly guns. These are some very nice models. It is low-poly, but actually has quite a nice amount of detail. It also comes with a bunch of attachments, so if you'd like to experiment with building some kind of weapon attachment system, like the one that I did a while ago, you can pick up this free pack and start working. It includes 5 weapons, shotguns and rifles, and has a ton of attachments, about 40 in total. So that's quite a huge amount for a free pack, all of it pretty impressive. Next, a very simple tool to help you find missing scripts. So that's really it, that's what it does. It helps you find missing scripts attached to your objects. This can actually happen if you rename or delete a script whilst it's still attached to some game objects. It's pretty annoying to see the missing script, so this is a very simple thing to help you clean up your project. Then for a fun visual, here is a stylized fantasy pagan village. I quite like the style. It is stylized, but not really low poly. It's got some nice hand painted textures. The pack actually has a nice amount of objects. You've got the house, there's some crates, fences, trees, and bushes. So this could be a nice starting point to build a village. The demo scene looks quite nice. If you like this style, then this tab has a full pack with tons more. Then another simple one, some candle VFX. It looks really nice, just like a candle. The flame is really perfect. It has the color exactly as you expected. So it's a little bit faded on the bottom and then has a bit more color on top. Then the smoke itself also looks really awesome. It goes up perfectly with a nice amount of movement. You can adjust the flame color size and flicker to get it looking exactly as you want it. It even includes some nice sound effects. Next here's a nice starter kit. This one is for helping you make a tanks game. It seems pretty big. It includes 97 models, 2 tanks and 1 level. These kinds of kits are always really nice if you want to make some simple games for learning. Making a tanks game would be a nice beginner project. Just control the tank and shoot at some targets. Or you can use this to explore some multiplayer by making each player control their own tank. Then for another nice tool, here is Editable Asset Attribute. This one looks quite useful if you use lots of scriptable objects in your project. Basically it lets you expand the scriptable object and edit it directly where you have that reference. So this is quite nice, it helps you save a click. You can modify all the data inside that scriptable object. It also has buttons for easily creating a new one or cloning an existing one. And it's super easy, you can define which fields are editable just by using an attribute. Then for another nice visual thing, here we have an isometric cafe. Right away, this reminds me of playing the game Lemonade Tycoon. That was a really awesome game that I played as a kid. This pack would be perfect for making something just like it, making a cafe tycoon game. You really just need some isometric characters, make them spawn and queue up and sell some coffee. So if you're a fan of management games like me, then maybe go build a prototype just like that this weekend. Or for another nice tool, here we have Sortify. 
Although this seems to be a little bit of a weird name, it doesn't really have anything to do with sorting. This is more of a general productivity and organization tool. You can clean up your hierarchy with some headers. You can make some basic custom inspectors with conditional logic. You can do that by just using a bunch of attributes, or you can even write down some notes. This one is a free version, and there's a paid one with a bunch more features. All right, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for December 24. There's a link to in the description. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.